AI. In my latest video, I, I, I went through what I consider the best bang for the buck rig, at least for the 70s hard rock tone that, that I uh, use. And uh, I use a DSL 20. It's a really cheap amp, uh, second hand here in Sweden. And uh, my argument was to prioritize and, and to put the money on the speaker and to get the vintage screen back. Uh, but those have become really expensive. So today we're going to check out two alternatives. Because um, one thing, you know, it's, when I say 70s hard rock tone, I, I, I'm not sure if everyone has the same opinion of what that is, you know, early 70s Hendrix, Led Zeppelin and so on, that's greenbacks. Later 70s is blackbacks, and G365 and G380 and so on. And then you have the, uh, the tones in the uh, later 80s from Guns N' Roses and other band that really recreated um, that, in my opinion at least, the, the 70s tone, but on steroids. And, and, and they used uh, Vintage 30 and, and G1280 and so on. So today we're going to compare two kind of affordable alternatives. These are also vintage speakers. So one is a 1983 G1265. And one is a 1987 Marshall Vintage, that's the Marshall version of, of uh, Vintage 30. Here in Sweden at least, those speakers are somewhere between a fifth or, or, or maybe a third of what the greenback costs. Uh, and and they're, they're, they're pretty common, so, it, so you can probably find them on, on, on eBay or, or Reverb or in, in different stores and so on, or on Marshall Forum. So, let me know what you think. Do this to hold up to the vintage greenback, or maybe you even prefer some of them. Let's go.